thanks for joining the call. This is Jack, and we have a full training. Three big topics will cover the new lead, fan, uh, lead local team Jack update with an appointment setting and an image below the slider. And I will I will demo how you to use it. So watch and make notes so you can do it all by yourself. So the next topic will be WP Gateway. How to transfer an existing site to WP Gateway. And we just finished it. Um, you just finished it on a very easy way. So I don't think this way exists any place. So I just had that idea, and my programs are that smart to implement that. So I will demo that how that can be done on a very, very easy way. And the third topic will be um, how to get a foot in the door uh, from a local business and get paid 200 to 500 dollar each and every time. So, are you guys ready for those three topics? Because there is a lot I could I could go over in three sessions, but I have planned to do it today. So, so ready? So let me go over this website. It is local team jack web design and it has the classical um, form. Everybody see this? So let's turn this in a form in a form with an appointment setting. So follow the steps, okay? I can only do it one time. You go to the back end and you update the team version. You select the team and click update teams. Okay? Everybody get this step? One second. Something goes wrong. I have to log in again. Then let me see what the team version at the moment is. You see it's updated. If you go to Team Jack Appearance, uh, Appearance Teams, you see the new Christiana's team version, okay? And when I refresh this, not much has changed. Okay, just the code of the website. Okay, so that is step number one, update the team version. Because in the new team version, you guys see no appointment. Everybody see this? Team Jack. That is new. You see that? Appointment. So if you click on that, you see a whole new table. And it starts at 8 o'clock in the morning and it ends at 10 o'clock. So now you can say, show me the appointment form. And say, book, give it a name, book appointment. Okay? And click on save changes. Now I have enabled appointment in the form. So when I refresh this, You see, book appointment. You guys see this? And when I click on it, the user can say, I want an appointment at the 14 at, the, at 9 o'clock. See that? So there is some more stuff. You say, I don't want meetings on Monday. I don't like meetings on Monday. I don't like meetings on Saturday and I don't like meetings on Sunday. 
Okay, and you click on save changes. And when you refresh, and the appointment, uh, you see, now I cannot book appointments on Sunday, I cannot book on Monday, and I cannot book on Saturday. They are just not clickable. You see that? So you determine which time you want to accept appointments. Everybody got this? So the next step is, I don't like mornings. And if you like me, you don't like mornings, okay? So you said, I say, I don't want to start. And I don't work in, on, on a lunchtime. You save changes, you refresh, and then you, uh, if you want to book an appointment during lunchtime on Mondays, I don't know, uh, did I make a Tuesday? You see, you cannot. You see, those times are just not showing. So, uh, what more? If you say, I want to have a comment box around this, you say from three lines, you go to all oh, this is also new. You go to Team Jack and form, and now you see a new field height. You see this? So let's say I want to show a comment box so the website visitor can enter comments. So you say I want from four lines and you click on save. You refresh. And now you have a comment box. Everybody see this? How to make a comment box? So now actually I want to make this slider a little bit nicer, you know? You see this edge here, and I want just to make it, you know, the new generation. So let me do that for you. I'm going to start with it, and let me select red, and I give the name red demo. One second. What? Number two. And click on save changes. And now it starts to become nicer. But actually, to be honest, I want this form, you know, stand out. I want to draw my eye to this form. Now it's like blended with everything. Everybody agrees with that? It's like blended with everything. I want that the website visitor fills out that form, of course. So I, we have introduced form background. Everybody see this? So you select and color, and you save it. And you refresh it. And now I have a website form. You see this? And actually, to be honest, I don't need that person now here. I want my fields to fall with. You see that? I don't want that field so short. I actually rather have a fall with field and not that person. You guys see that? So let me do that for now. 
go back to form team jack form and let me delete this image save changes and refresh so now that person is gone but I want to have that field full width so there is enough space for the name and the email go back to form and there's a new field you see that form full width you can set the form fields width but it's just easier to save the changes and to do form full width and I refresh and wow you guys see this how easy and nice it was be before and now okay I still have one problem I don't like this space here you see you guys see this space because we added appointment and we added comments. You see this? Let's add a nice slogan to this. Okay, so you see a slider and I want to put an image, slider footer image. Everybody got this? So I click on add the slider footer image I click on upload files and I just had prepared of course an image for that which you can easily do by yourself and I click on save changes okay and then I click on save changes and refresh I don't know why it's not showing didn't I save it, the image? Save changes. Maybe there's not enough space for that image. So let's create a little bit more space for that image. I don't know what uh, caused this. Enable, click, oh, oh, should I click enable? Yeah, I now I remember something like that. Enable, okay. Save changes. You guys know better than me. <laughs> you see that? No. Do you remember how the focus how, how the slider was and how it is now it has an appointment setting it has a comment setting and it has a slogan everybody got this so this if you use a form kind of thing you want to implement something like that <clears throat> you can you can change any slider image in length in width you know you can do it all by yourself but I didn't want to do that because it was work I just added an image okay and if you upload an image with rounded images, the rounded corners, you just have round corners. No problem. You have to create them. So this theme update works in any website. I just took this as example. But I wanted to show you and hope you got the point that I had, uh, you know, I can show you the difference.
Okay. This is where we started off. You see this? This is what we have now. So now we have an appointment booking and you have a slogan and you have a comment box. Okay, and you have a weather field. So now one more thing. If you go to form and you want to know which time zone an appointment was used, you have to add those two tokens. You see this appointment form and user time zone. So you just add those tokens so you know which times are set. Okay. Guys get that? Just one more thing. <laughs> so if you uh, save this, now that information is also uh, what does a token do? It will that it gets an email sent to the website owner, and they need to know when the time was set and which time zone. Okay. So there's one more thing. If you go to form data. There's new now appointment date and user time zone. So in the back end, you can also see that information. Okay. So I know I got a lot of questions, but I, I'm not able to go in much detail because we have three topics to cover today. So you have to watch the replay and then uh, you can ask some more questions in Facebook group. Okay. So I did it step by step and you can watch the replay how to do it. So can I get a wow effect or something like my my appreciation to my programmer how he did this because I really love it. Do you like it too? It just it cannot get easier to my opinion. Okay, it is just click click click. There's no technical skill involved of required. There's a lot of involved, but not required. Okay, so let me go to the next topic because we have three topics today and there's a lot of to cover. I don't know if I still log in. Probably not. I am or not? No. So I have to log in, have to log in back. Okay. Now let's do some training. And I want to know how many of you guys have WP Gateway. Who has access to WP Gateway? So I get a little bit of impression about uh, your guys' need. Okay, I see 90% yes, so that is very good. I appreciate that. So, we covered how to point a domain to WP Gateway. And you might have forgotten that. But, you see, there's a free Kazaz question and tutorials. Everybody see this? And if you don't see that when you're logged in, that means you, you have a browser cache problem. You have to delete the cache. I'm trying to make the portals WP Gateway smart that you delete the cache for you. But I'm not sure that's something. And you see now the freak is asked question. Okay. So when you go here, link existing account, you see the NSW1 and the NSW. So you have to link that domain to WP Gateway. Okay. And this is the PDF Yvonne created about the last webinar. Okay. And there is also, one second, there's something missed, messed up. <coughs> one second.
there's also uh, tutorials. You see that? Order domain, add domain, and domain pointing. You, you see this? So every step is, every time I'm doing training, you can see the how-to training here. Okay. Now, I want you to demo today how to transfer an existing website to WP Gateway High Speed Amazon Server. So I, I can only do it once, okay? So you have to follow again those steps. Okay? So you go to server and you go to server overview. And those servers I have active. And then you click on plus server. Then you see this screen. Everybody follow this step? Okay, you go to server, server overview, and go to plus server. Then there is a selection box Transfer existing WordPress site. Everybody see this? Is the description clear? Transfer existing WordPress site. You select that, and the first thing you're going to do is you enter the domain from that website, from the WordPress website, you want to transfer. Let's say you have the host gate or blue gate, and you want to transfer it to WB Gateway. Okay, then it asks the C panel of that domain, and that's it's not here, so you have to add that. So then you ask for the C panel login URL, and the C panel login URL is always like something like domain.com. It is not slash C panel, it is not a strange code, it is just the domain of that C panel. Okay. And if you have a subdomain, but you want to move to a main domain, you have to also enter the, the main domain of the cPanel, okay? Then you enter the username, and then you enter the password. And then you want to click include non-wordpress directly. So now it's going to log in. In, the, in running, non prospects are not available on selected area. So there's nothing, there's no, in this case, there's no WordPress, there's not a directory, but it's not related to WordPress, okay? So now, it's click on preview. And do you know what that means, preview? It, cre it, it create a clone it create the exact website on the Amazon server. So you can see, you know, if I go to local design jack, this is the website. And I want to transfer this website, what is on another server for me, I want to transfer it to uh, the Amazon server. So now I click on preview. And what it does is it creates, it clones that website, what is on your other server, and it creates a clone, a version of the Amazon, on the Amazon server. So once that cloning part is done, you feel very confident that that cloning went successful. Everybody got this? So you have, before you pull over the trigger from the domain, you can see, hey, everything is good. Let me change the NS of the domain. See how easy this is?
is this file size limited? You need to have enough cPanel directory. So if you say your cPanel memory is only 300 megabyte and your site is 200 megabyte, then there is not enough space to put um, to do this process. You have to increase uh, the cPanel from your old, old hoster. So it will give you that information. So then we can cancel our hosting service. Yes, when you moved, so you see that error database updated fails. So then, you know, the, the something went wrong. And then that means the, the clone didn't go successful. So I don't know at the moment what is the, the problem. So I didn't expect that, but that means, you know, something went wrong. So I'm not happy with that, but I can't help this. <clears throat> so I will look into that Monday and then see why this, uh, but normally this, this goes well. Uh, usually the file size, the same problem, okay? So let me let me go to the C panel. Uh, now the file size is I had this open. The file size should, is not a problem. So something went wrong. I don't know what. The C panel correct is 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 good because you see that success, successfully connected with C panel connected with the base menu. This space is verified, WordPress compressed, database backup done. You know, I don't know what this set up. So I will uh, see what's going on and I will do the demo also on uh, Okay. Okay, so I will check it out and we will come back on the next training. When this would have been done, now that I did several, you see this, um, those, those are not pointing to the domain, but if those are pointing to the domain, uh, let uh, C server, C panel, Um, when they are pointing, they will show here, and they will also will show here. So, uh, no, no, sorry. When the when when the demo domain is done, you will see here view demo. I think I had. Uh, you will see here an, a link. You see that a link. A link will show here, and then you can show and then you can view the demo. And once the demo is okay, and you you know. You go to your cPanel, and what is the first thing you're going to do when you, before you move, um, before you move the the domain? I forget this all the time. I personally forget this all the time, and then I have to point the domain back. You. You want to see if there are any emails created on that domain. So I so the next task for my program is see if we can also move the domain setup. But at this point it is not. So if there are any domains on that on that uh, are any emails on that domain, you want to know that and set and set them up in a new C panel. Everybody got this step? So don't forget us at this point. It's very important. So once everything is okay and you have noted the, the emails, you go to your domain register and then you go, I don't know if I'm still logged in. Here is an example, uh, domain server setup. And then you're going to change this to Help, free class questions, 
link accessible. You're going to change this to, to those values. Okay? So you, if you say, okay, I'm happy with the result, now you're pointing them to the new server. And then in within 24 hours, that domain will point to will point to uh, WP Gateway. Everybody get this? Once WP Gateway get a signal, let me log in back. One sec. So once, once, uh, let me go to here. It will really show demo domain, and every hour, WP Gateway will check. Hey, that domain is that pointing to WP Gateway now. And once it is pointing to WP Gateway, it will create a C panel for it, and it will show them on a domain overview. Okay, you will see here the new domain, and on the domain in the C panel, it will show the 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 new C panel. And the login for the C panel is domain username and password. So if you go to uh, this edit, you write it down on a notepad, username and password. Okay. And then, so let me show you that here. I just did this. The URL, that is your username and password. So for the cPanel URL, you, you add slash cPanel. Okay? So let me take this, the URL slash cPanel. Okay, proceed anyway, because it is in cPanel. Then I enter the username and password. One second, didn't take that password. Okay, don't show me the message again. Now I'm logged in in the C panel from the Amazon server. Everybody get this? How to, how to get the C panel login for information? You have to add the slash C panel to the domain. Now, you see your email accounts. Here you want to create those email accounts which was on the other server. Okay? That's you you mainly want to do. And some of you guys are familiar with email accounts. I might make this easier. I try, so but it is not implemented yet to also transfer the email accounts. So that is, I think, is enough uh, content for today for WP Gateway. I will do more training coming Tuesday. Okay? I will actually do the same exercise on Tuesday. So do it, do it again. But I want you to show how easy the process is. And I will do it over and over again so you all get it. Does Amazon have that mail? Yes. You, you know, you just you have a C panel. Okay. 
how can I log in? How lo have you started? Okay, I'm not sure uh, what you mean with that. But if you want to register, here is the URL. Everybody get that URL? The first domain is for free, so you have nothing to worry. You can just play around. Okay, when you when you go to Jack Hopman double slash WP Gateway and you scroll down for the pricing. You see, one free domain management forever. It's only 50 cents a set of fee with PayPal. One dollar, uh, uh, the next domain is one dollar, so that is the pay as you go plan. One dollar per week management of four dollar per month and six dollar if you use optional the high speed server for that domain, but that's optional. Or you go for the starter plan and you say decide I want to have managed 100 domains and only $47 per month. Or you go for the business plan and you can manage and, inst and have on a high speed server for $97 per month. And I have several feedback how fast, how incredible fast the Amazon server is. That is very important for um, SEO too. So if you want hosting plus management, if you want hosting plus management, you uh, um, uh, you want to go for the business plan. I hear the sign up link is not working. Everybody has had the same problem. You just go to this website then and click on get access. So So if you want to keep your current hosting, you want to go for the affordable starter plan. If you want to have a high-speed server, you want to go for the business plan. So that's mainly the main options. If you say, you know, I'm new, I don't know, you go for the free plan of the pay-as-you-go plan and the first domain is for free. Okay, so I will do more training. Uh, I will do more training um, Tuesday, okay? So because we are now 40 minutes on the way, and I still want to go over to the third option topic. Is that okay? You. So I know I still get a lot of questions and I've said we have a lot to cover and I, I cannot answer all the questions. So I, you have to watch the replay or and join um, join uh, Tuesday. Okay? So how do I start for the next topic? Um, actually, I got that question in the beginning from somebody. Plumber uh, Bogarton. So, how do I start? Who knows a little bit about SEO? You know, you think I have heard about it, you know, I know a little bit about SEO. Say yes and say no. 
I don't ask that you're an expert, but I, I just want to know where you are with SEO. Okay, I see a lot of yeses. So, now, because you said yes, I'm going to ask you a tricky question. Okay, and let's see who knows that answer. What is the most important elements to rank high on a Google Places listing? I see a lot of good answers. I see a lot of good answers, but I see also answers which are second important. Okay, a lot of you guys were correct, but let's let's have understand everybody. The business listing, business address, the phone number and the website URL, the NAP, everybody get this NAP? If the phone number is not correct, it's not the same as on the website, what do you think Google is going to do? If the address is not the same as on the business list listing as on the website. What do you think Google is going to do? They are confused and they are going to penalize your listing. They are not going to rank high in the seven pack on the first place. So I I want everybody say I understand this or not, otherwise I will repeat it. Okay, so everybody got it, okay? Now, because you guys know this, do you think you can explain that to a business? Hey, I found your business listing. And it is not the same as on your website. That is why you are not ranking high. You guys, you, you can explain this? You think business owners understand that Google is important? To rank high on Google is important. And can, and do you, can you sh say, hey, on your business listing, you, you, you said your address is 17, but it's actually 18, or whatever the mistake is. Do you think you can explain that? Do you guys want an email template who help you with the explanation of this? Okay. Who of you guys knows Yvonne Herbs, my support employee? Who knows her? Okay, I have to be honest to you guys. She is using this strategy repeatedly to get more business. She finds business listings we are incorrect. She contacts that business and nine of the time she get paid between the $200 and $500 to correct it. This is such a golden prospecting method. Everybody understand that the Google Places listing needs to be correct. You understand it and even business owners understand it. But you have to find them, you have to send them an email and more importantly, who of you guys 
wants to have a phone number to call Google. Can you correct this for me, please? This is incorrect. Who wants to have that phone number to say, hey, I saw this, but it is incorrect. Can you change that for me? Okay, so next Tuesday, Yvonne and I are going to send you all the information. This is a new launch. It is the first day or two. It's $17. It's peanuts. I'm telling you, that is so golden. How to find those business listings, how to, to send an email, how to send a letter, and how to correct it with Google. It's a one-time payment, $17, it's peanuts. But Yvonne cannot work for nothing, okay? I said, Yvonne, you earn money for this, okay? Okay, everybody got this? On Tuesday, 11 o'clock a.m. EST, you're going to get an email from me. And that will go over, you know, basically it, get, it gets you step by step the process. It's, it lets you how to find the business listing, how to email businesses, and how to solve it. And you get paid over and over again. Everybody get this step? I'm so excited about this. I'm really excited. I was always looking. You know what the biggest problem is? I felt you want to offer something where the business is actually, I'm not ready for it. Do you, do you feel that too when you contact a business owner and you yeah, know I have to think about it they don't need to think about an, a wrong Google places listing that is so well wrong and they don't know how to fix it tell me I I think nine of the ten people were on this call you don't know how to fix it because to contact Google is very tricky you know AdWords they have a helpline but we found a way to contact also um, Google about Google Places, you know? Actually, Yvonne found it, okay? I'm just supporting this. Okay? So the sales page is not finished. There's no buy button on it. But I just wanted to make you clear, don't miss this opportunity it is peanuts and is lot of contact content okay everybody got this I know we had three big topics today and Tuesday 11 a.m. EST okay so I know is a lot of information. Uh, you might have a headache because you have to take in so much. I hope the replay worked well, so you can watch the replay. And I will Tuesday I will go more in uh, in the WP Gateway and will go more in uh, how to find those Google arrows. So, with that said, I really thank you guys all your time. Um, I don't want to make this call longer than necessary because you got so much content. And um, I, I want you to have some energy over for coming on the call. Uh, Tuesday at 8 p.m. EST, we have also a webinar. But the the launch starts at 11 a.m. EST, and so I have a couple of hours to uh, to handle the launch. And if you have uh, questions, I can also answer them at the webinar. Okay, 
So thanks everybody for joining this training. I really appreciate it. Um, we can go over in the next training more details, but I want you to digest this, okay? Take it, go with it, come the next training, every step by step, okay? So thanks everybody for joining the call and see you uh, next uh, Tuesday at 8 p.m. EST and watch for my email at Tuesday 11 EST, okay? So watch for that email because you don't want to miss this opportunity. $17 started off. Thank you so much.